On your side tonight, the IRS will begin accepting tax returns. Typically, many of you would have started filing by the end of January. That delay isn't the only change, though, to this tax season. We talked to Daniel Woodard with the H&R Block to help shed some light on some of your questions. So the first question, 2020 saw a record number of people file for unemployment because of the COVID-19 pandemic. What do they need to know about filing their taxes? There's a misconception that many think that, hey, my unemployment's not taxable when it actually is taxable. So when they go to file that 2020 return, um, there could be a, a surprise, whether that's a, a large, you know, ta larger tax liability or a reduced anticipated refund. So there you have it. If you file for unemployment and receive a check, it's taxable. Another question, how do you account for big life changes, such as having a baby last year, with the recover rebate credit if you receive stimulus payments? Many taxpayers have received the stimulus. There's the two, stimulus one and two, um, but that's based on your 2019 return. So during the year, if you've had a change, whether you, know, you got married or divorced, um, you had a child, you may be eligible for additional stimulus money and you're going to claim that when you file your 2020 return. Now the term you're looking for if that's happened to you is the refund recovery act. Just uh, mention it to your tax filer to see if you qualify for it. And our last question, a lot of small businesses had to take a loan through the PPP, the Paycheck Protection Program, to keep workers employed during the pandemic. What do they need to know? What's important is that new, the new legislation that's come out related to COVID uh, allows those expenses that are paid from the PPP loan to be deductible on the return. So there are options for small businesses when filing. It's best to speak, though, to a tax professional to learn what those are. And if you have any more questions that we didn't touch on, just look for this article on WAT.com or on our news app.